نحمده و نسلی و نسلم على رسوله الكریم اما بعد So two things, suspicious thoughts and negative thoughts. Try to become positive in life. Positive in life. They are interrelated also, suspicious thoughts and negative thoughts, but they are different also. Always remain positive in life. I always give the example that when a person enters the kitchen and he is hungry, and he sees half a, a glass of milk only in the whole kitchen, then a person who thinks positively will look at the bottom part of the glass. That, oh, alhamdulillah, there is a half glass of milk. And the person who thinks negatively, he will look at the top part of the glass. Oh, only half glass. Nothing is going to change. Nothing is going to change. It's going to remain half. But the, pers- the first person will, f- will find satisfaction after consuming the half glass. And the second person will not find satisfaction. I give another example as well, that the difference between a positive person and a negative person is that when a positive person goes in the garden and he looks at the rose plant, then the one who thinks positively will look at the rose and the one who thinks negatively will look at the thorns. He will not be able to appreciate the rose and the one who thinks positively when he returns and if you ask him, he will say that, no, I know that ro- rose trees have thorns, but I didn't, I didn't notice it because I was busy looking at the flower. So in life, there are more roses than thorns. But because we become negative and we adopt a negative attitude, then what we can see is thorns only and we cannot appreciate the roses the many roses that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. I always say in Urdu that wujuhe shukr, wujuhe sabra se ziyada hai. There are more reasons for shukr than sabra in every life. If I look at my life and if I'm not, if I have a headache today, then that is only one reason for sabra. What about everything else? Nice family, nice friends, the 24 hours engaged in so many good things, no other, only headache. But we will only focus on that Vajhe Sabr and we will not look at Vajuhe Shuk. So there are so many things to be happy about and there are so many positive things to think about. Don't look at negative things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all the tawfiq. A positive thinking person after striving for imtihan, because exam is coming as well, after striving for exam, if he if he feels that this year I've worked so hard that I will get hundred percent or I will get ninety percent at least or eighty percent at least, and he has scored only fifty percent. A positive thinking person will look at it this way: that Alhamdulillah is better than last year, and it was forty-five percent, and now I've scored fifty percent. A negative thinking person will look at it the other way around: that oh, it's, it's not eighty percent; it's thirty percent below what I had expected. And somebody who had scored 50% last exam, if he was to score 40% this exam, then he will still look at it positively. That Alhamdulillah, Allah gave me the tawfiq to work hard. So I spent a good last four weeks in studying. So even I was not able to score here in this exam, I have scored a lot in the hereafter. And a lot of my time has gone into... So it's, it's up to an individual. How he thinks, how he feels, how he makes. Urwa ibn Zubair radiallahu rahimahullahu ta'ala, the, he, he was one of the, uh, the seven fuqaha of Medina Munawara, seven well-known fuqaha. And Urwa ibn Zubair is the nephew of uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And one of the closest uh, students of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. He has benefited a lot and he has uh, been very instrumental in passing on the ilm of Urwa ibn Zubay, of Aisha radiallahu anhu to the ummah. Over and over again I have mentioned his, this incident of his, uh, that when one of his uh, leg was amputated, during the night somebody heard him say, it must have been very pain- painful in those days, no anesthetic, nothing. So somebody heard him talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it so happened that two calamities came upon him at once. His 
Lel had to be amputated. And number two, his son passed away as a result of an accident. So one of his sons passed away. Allah had granted him four sons, one of them passed away that, during those days. So he was saying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, you have given me four limbs to work with. A person does most of his work with two hands and two feet. So he said that, oh Allah, you had given me four limbs to work with. I am so grateful to you that you have only taken away one from me and you have left three with me. People go into depression as a result of operations like this. The doctors are afraid to declare the news to the person that one leg or one hand has to be amputated. And he said, oh Allah, you had given me four sons. I am grateful to you that you have only taken one and you have left three with me. Positive thinking. And again, it all comes down to the same thing. As a result of tazkiyah, a person is able, able to acquire this quality of being positive. And when a person becomes positive, positive thinker, positive thinker, who is positive and not negative, it will be very easy for him to stay away from sus suspicious thoughts. So it's two different things, positive thinking and suspicious thoughts. But suspicious thoughts, uh, is, uh, to stay away from suspicious thoughts will be difficult for that person who always thinks negatively. And those of us who are victims of suspicious thoughts, those of us who are victims of negative thoughts, negativity in life, we are not optimistic, we are pessimistic. What we need to do is to pay attention to those people who counsel us and try to force ourselves to accept what that person is saying. Hey, father, mother, brother, sister, our dear and near ones, they sit down with us and they say, no, think this way, look at it this way. You have been blessed by Allah so much. What you're thinking is wrong. It's not like this. It's not like that. What we normally do is that when people explain to us a certain thing and they try to take us away from negativity into the beautiful garden of positivity, we assume that he is also my enemy. He is, he is on the other side, not on my side. And we do listen but not with the intention of thinking and pondering over what that person is saying and accepting. So we don't cooperate. So what we do is we alienate ourselves from everybody. Nobody alienates us. We alienate ourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the tawfiq to stay away from suspicious thoughts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the himmat and the courage to always think positively. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, guide us all uh, so that we may uh, acquire peace ourselves and we may be a source of peace and contentment for others also.